Alina Rabakina versus Victoria Azarenka is the first semi-final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both ladies have had interesting roads to get to this stage. Azarenka started the tournament off as the number 24 seed and will take on Sophia Kennan in the first round. And after a close second set, she got through in straights. 6-4, 7-6. In the second round, she'll take on Podoroska. And this was by far the easiest match for Azarenka, getting through in straight sets. 6-1, six, 6-love. Six, in the third round, she'll take on last year's semi-finalist, Madison Keys, the number 10 seed. And after dropping the first set, would come back to win. 1-6, six, 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, in the fourth round, she'll take on the unseeded Zhu, who had just beaten Maria Sakri in the previous round. And this was the toughest match for Azarenka yet. Losing the first set, but coming back in three. 4-6, 6-1, 6-4. Six, 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 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, Azarenka would take on the number three seed, Pagula, who had not lost a set to get to this stage. But Azarenka's experience showed through, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-1. In the first round, Rabakina came in as the 22nd seed and would take on Chucky Aredo. And after a close first set, she got through in straights, winning through 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, she took on the youngster, Yuvan, but this was no trouble for Rabakina, getting through easily under an hour, 6-2, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on the third 13th seed and last year's finalist, Danielle Collins. And after dropping the second set, she eventually got through in three, 6-2, 5-7, 6-2. In the fourth round, she took on the number one player in the world, Iga Fiontek, a player that she had beat in an exhibition only a couple of weeks ago. And after a very close couple of sets, Rabakina got through, taking out the champ, taking out the world number one, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to her first Australian Open quarterfinal. In her quarterfinal, Rabakina would take on fellow Grand Slam champion Ostapenko, the number 17 seed. And after a brief rain delay in the start of the match, Rabakina demolished demolished Ostapenko 6-2, 6-4 to get to her first Australian Open semi-final. These two have only played the one time before with Rabakina getting the win at Indian Wells. So it'll be interesting to see who has the psychological advantage because of course, Azarenka has been in the semi-finals of Australia many times. If Azarenka is going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and move Rabakina around. We know Rabakina has got great ground strokes in the middle of the baseline, but if Azarenka can move her around, then maybe there's going to be a chance for Azarenka to make another Australian Open final. If Rabakina is going to win, she needs to serve well and she needs to be the aggressor. She needs to get Azarenka moving. That's something that Pagula couldn't quite do. So if Rabakina can get that working and obviously serve well, she might be able to make her first Grand Slam final in Australia. This is a very interesting match. We didn't get this at the start of the tournament, I guess. Nobody predicted this. We had Fiontech, Pagula potentially in this part of the draw, but I'm going to go with Rabakina. I think she's going to get her second slam at the end of the day, so I'm going to pick her to make the final and keep on going, maybe in three sets. But Azarenka is going to be tough, but let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this semi-final clash?